All right, um, in this video, I am going to explore ambient sound design with the Korg Minilog. Um, a couple people had asked about this in my previous videos, so I figured I'd give it a shot. There's obviously a lot of different ways you can go about um, designing ambient sounds and um, a lot of different approaches. This is just one of them, and I'll show some of what I would do with this synth if I wanted to uh, get into the ambient territory. So I'll start out with just basic a knit patch and the first thing I always do there we go so both saw both oscillators are set to saw waves the same octave um, and the first thing I always do is go into the menu and turn off LFO sync. I don't know why it defaults to be on. For some patches you're gonna want, um, the key sync is it resets when you hit a key and then the voice sync, um, the LFOs are all um, synced across the voices because there there's actually four LFOs in this. You They all share the controls. Uh, so you only get control of the waveform, like a master control for all, um, all the LFOs across the voices. So you, they all have to have one waveform, they all have to have the same rate, they all have to have the same intensity, but technically their phases aren't necessarily synced. So if you have voice sync, then all the LFOs across the voices are gonna be phase synced. But um, a huge part of ambient sound design is unsynced. Uh, that's what you want. <laughs> so I, I don't want my LFOs synced because the more that they drift and the more that the modulations are different on each um, note, the more texture and the more movement, you know, the more the sound can breathe. So that's definitely um, the first thing I would do. All right, so right now we have a super dry sustain, full sustain, but then no release, no decay, no attack. So we wanna first of all, turn the release up on the amp. I'll probably add some attack um, once we get going and shape the filter envelope as well, but for now this is good so we can hear what we're doing. So, first thing to do is maybe detune a little bit. Send the LFO to the pitch, a very slight amount. Also send it to shape. Slow rate, small amount of intensity. Now it starts shaping the sound with the filter envelope. This is on the two pole mode. Uh, 
add a little cross mod to get it detuned. Then we can try some different waveforms, like both on triangle. So we're sounding pretty good, and that's without any effects. So before I add any external effects, let's uh, see what we can get out of the onboard delay. So there's a few things I like to do with this delay. Um, first would be very short time high feedback, which is going to be more like a resonator or like a, a spring reverb type sound rather than actual delay, because it's, it's basically just like a doubling but with high feedback, you get this more metallic, resonant character. So here's without. And then here's with the delay. So I think that adds some character also do a much longer time but then you're gonna get this dirt and noise which you know it adds something to the sound so you may want that you could also try it just sometime in the middle also with a pretty high feedback try using the ring mod. Which is affected. Um, VCO1 is modulating the amplitude of VCO2. That's what the ring mod does. So if you change the shape or the pitch or the wave, you know, the waveform or the shape um, of either of the two oscillators, you're going to get different types of ring mod sounds. So we could try with a higher VCO1 and a low VCO2. Or vice versa, a high VCO2 and a low VCO1. I think that sounds pretty good. So if we turn the envelope attack way up, you get a much more gradual swell to the sound. I go up an octave. Alright, so there, that's without any external effects, um, just using the onboard delay. 
So now I'll add in, I have an Alesis Nanoverb, and I have a Behringer VD400 and a Boss DD6 delay. So here's the reverb. So that's an ambient patch with the Korg Minilog. Um, just to recap where we're at, uh, we've got VCO1 on the lowest octave, VCO2 on the highest octave. We're on triangle waves with both. We've got the LFO going to shape mod with full intensity and a very slow rate. Um, the shapes are both somewhere right around 9 o'clock on the VCO2 and right around 10 o'clock on VCO1, obviously, you know, you could change that. You get a slightly different sound, but that's just a matter of, of taste. Um, cross mod, we've got it like 10 o'clock, slight positive pitch envelope, so right around 1, 1 o'clock. Uh, the ring mod's on, sync is off, we're in two pole. Full key tracking, resonance around 10 o'clock, filters at 10 o'clock, uh, and filter envelope intensity is right around 2 o'clock, and we've got a uh, high attack, um, decays on both envelopes are right around 10, um, 10 and 11 o'clock, uh, full sustain on the amp and then slightly less on the filter envelope, full release on both. Uh, the LFO is a triangle, and as we said, we had to unsync that in the menu. And the onboard delay is on uh, with high feedback, and the time set to around 10 o'clock. So that's it. It's pretty basic. Um, you can do a lot more uh, to get you know more movement going. I didn't even get into using the sequencer and using motion sequencing, so we could have been modulating four parameters. Um, and if you're playing live over the sequence, you can delete notes. So there's no notes playing, but you could actually have the sequence going with like a really low, slow tempo and then have that modulation happening. So that would be another way to get more movement into the sound if you're going for like soundscapes and ambient textures. So there's a lot you can do with this. Uh, this is just like just scratching the surface of this type of sound um, with the mini log. I think this is a great synth for this type of... Uh, textured ambient sound design and I hope this was helpful. So let me know in the comments if you'd like to see um, other specific things, if there's stuff in that you'd like me to go more in depth that I covered in this video or if you have any just any requests for further tutorials. Thanks for watching and listening and as always I appreciate the comments, the likes and uh, if you're into what I'm doing just subscribe and I'll definitely be posting more videos in the future. Thanks.